Peace, family. Walking my little dog around the little block. Oh wow, look at that. Look at it. This is no homo. Huh? <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> what am I to what am I to say when I find out my whole life I've been lied to about practically everything. I mean, I was going to church for God's sake. Believing things literal and just out of my mind. Believing mythology. And then I go to public school and I get plugged with more lies. Everywhere I go, I get lied to. And... I get disagreed with. They don't agree with me. That's why I get cast out. Cast out into the shadows. How am I exposed to love myself? When my whole life I've been getting plugged with subconscious messages telling me to hate myself and there's a specific motive behind that it's all to make me a slave and I don't like that I don't like people trying to get get over on me and make me into a slave and once I realized that my whole entire life it's been just creating a product this product that's going to go work for the Babylonian system and just put the cheeseburgers in the bag and shut up that was what I was taught in school earliest message I was exposed to learn to communicate with other kids and they taught me to sit down and shut up and not say anything. Plug my mind with witchcraft and black magic. And now when I tell myself I love myself, I always have another side of my mind. It's like the lower self is still in my mind and it's saying, you don't believe that. What is wrong with loving myself? That's how you could tell that we've really been programmed. Because that message of self-hatred was projected on everybody. So how do you love yourself? Well, I come home I walk my little dog around the block and make a video and breathe in the air oh god it feels so good to breathe in the air just being outside it makes you feel better instead of being always in a house just cut off from oxygen and come on what are you doing dog boy pisses on a tree and then he's smelling it what's going on what are you doing you're gonna pee on it okay good boy good boy come on come on little dog come on chill out chill out So I realize that what I have to do is really isolate myself from any of these messages, no matter how it comes in. 
whether it's coming in from my parents or from music, coming in through things that I see, but any message of self-hatred or any message that is causing me to doubt myself and putting a devil voice in my head, I need to cut myself off from that. I can't be around it. I need to be able to think correctly. It's just fascinating when you really see how hard you've been brainwashed your whole life and then you really see the motive behind it. And that was to make me a slave in this system that doesn't do anyone any good. Everyone is exchanging their happiness for convenience. And they all got programmed not to believe in themselves. And that, come on, come on little dog. And that's for what we're working with. Come on, you don't have to sniff all the trees. Oh, he's gonna wanna sniff that fire hydrant. So I'm gonna make the correct choices using my knowledge to the best of my ability. What are you doing, little dog? Come on, why are you sniffing everything? I'm gonna use my knowledge to make the right choice. What is the best for me? And even though that there's something inside of me that doesn't want me to succeed, even though it's just a part of my imagination, it was it's just programming that's inside of the mind causing me not to be successful in different types of areas. That's why it was programmed in the mind. To make sure that I get on the hamster wheel and work for somebody else my whole life. Making nothing. Distracted from my purpose. My, I, I'm gonna find my purpose. And I'm a Gemini. I'm here to communicate and to broadcast I, ideas and philosophies and different viewpoints over the internet. And I'm going to help a lot of people because this is broadcast over the whole entire world. I just have to chill the fuck out and not be negative and then really just think about other people, be extroverted, and then realize that everything that I see around me, this is, this is all my own mind. So I have to be concerned about what's going on in my mind and quit focusing so much on, on this, on this body, or whatever. I'm going to focus on other people in my reality. I'm going to focus on my subconscious mind because everyone that I see is a part of my subconscious mind. And when I focus on them and I'm concerned more about others than myself, well, pat me on the back. I guess I'm just a swell guy. How do I love myself? I'm just going to walk my dog around the block. Breathe in the air and appreciate that I'm on this earth. Another day alive. I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching, family. We're going to make it. We're all going to make it.